So a lot of people probably don't know. Panzer used to be a Call of Duty competitor. Let me tell you, right? Call, uh, Call of Duty 4 on PC. One of the best scenes I ever worked. One of the best beats I ever worked. All my wildest drunken stories all come from those events, by the way. Because I used to go out with Diablo and Duffer and those boys. The time I stole that fella's shoes and woke up in a bed with a strange man. <laughs> That's all from the Call of Duty days. The time I barricaded myself into a Belgian hotel and refused to leave till I had two hours sleep. That was from the Call of Duty days. These guys partied like no other. They loved the game. And Pansy wasn't a commentator in that. She was a fucking player. She played with the guys. She was good enough to be on teams. I think I first met her at an I series. She she literally was good enough to play with the dudes. And the reason we've always had a good relationship, although I'll be honest, I don't talk to her as much as I wish we we uh, we still did. Uh, although we've talked recently and talked a little bit about that. I'm just terrible at keeping in touch with people, you know. Um, the reason we're... Super, right, when she said, I want to be a, uh, a, a Counter-Strike commentator, she said, hey, Rich, like, can you help me with this? And I went, listen, I know I've been a caster, but I'm not much of a caster. Uh, so I might not be the port of call for the help. But what I can do, right, is I can introduce you to all of the really cool players in in counter-strike that i know and so um npk was one for example uh because i've known nathan since he was a kid and what she did this is how this is how deep she went to learn the game so she could commentate it intelligently when she asked permission from the people I introduced her to, and it wasn't just me. I'm not trying to claim any credit or anything. It was, this was just something I did for her, uh, and she would have got there without me. I'm not trying to be that guy. But um, she would sit and listen, muted, in team, in actual high-level players' teams' games on, like, TeamSpeak or oh, fucking Ventrilo or whatever it was at the time. And so she was learning a player perspective and internalizing that, right, uh, 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 while learning a commentate. And I knew there were a lot of players, uh, sorry, a lot of casters that turned up and hadn't done any of that and were just winging it. I knew there were pl there were casters that, like, just turned up and, like, hadn't even watched a game in three months. And, and, Pan and Lauren was p putting in all that work, and she really wanted to make it work. And she got fucking wrecked by the CS community. It it took years for her uh, to to kind of win everybody over. And seriously, it I defy you. Go and look at her work with Machine, or her work with Moses, or even the Tricast she did. Don't ever tell me she's not one of the best. Don't ever tell me that. I won't believe you. I won't believe you could think that from listening to her work. The, 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 there was this incredible energy when, especially her and Alex, because they'd known each other for years, known each other from Call of Duty. But, you know, when Pansy and Moses had it, there was this, like, incredible, like, funny and flirtatious energy. It was so good. It was so good to listen to. It was so different to any other broadcast that was out there. And, the CS scene, because it was still in its relative infancy, they inceled her the fuck out. It's very hard for me, because I know these people, you know? And it's like, I know who they are. And they're getting shit on by random fucking nobodies. Like, it's real tough. But, you know, it looks like she's owning it in Valorant. Uh, and I guess that's something. You know, but she's going to be around, you know, for a long time. And she's a, like, you you probably don't even realize it. She's like a future fucking Hall of Fame, apparently, like legitimately. Not because she's a woman, because she's fucking sick in her fucking job. She's commentated PUBG, Call of Duty, fucking CS, now Valorant. Like, do you know how hard it is to change game? Let alone four or five times in your career. Mental. I let you off once before, but you still got the nerve to come back here and make trouble again. Eh?
what does it all mean?